Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jess. If you're, if you are, I can never get the intro right ever. If you are a subscriber, returning subscriber, I don't really know. Welcome back. Um, okay, so today I'm going to go over pretty much all the new home decor stuff that I have bought and collected over the last couple weeks. Some things you guys have already seen on stories, others um, I haven't showed you guys yet, but a lot of really fun, just like neutral, like rustic, kind of antique like Turkish, Mediterranean, Spanish vibes, all the things. Anyways, so let's get going. And I'm going to try to link everything that I can at the bottom. Unsure if I can link everything because some of them are just like, um, how do I say this? Like, there's only one of it, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, we will try our best. So here we go. Okay, first up, I'm going to share the things I got from H&M. I love H&M Home. I have been buying from H&M Home for over three years. The stuff is actually, I mean, 99% of the time, the stuff is good quality um, and super affordable and just one of a kind. So the first are these soap dispensers. Can you guys see them? They are really, really cute. Um, and then we just use our Myers hand soap, like kind of refills and we pour them in. The only thing that I, okay, I didn't think this through. Hold on, I need to bring the camera closer. Okay, better. So the only thing that I don't necessarily love about these soap dispensers is that Come on, let's focus here. Okay, when you see these guys, it's not real wood. It's like kind of that stickery vibe. However, I mean, I still think that these are super cute and I love them. So we're just gonna, we'll be okay with this. We'll survive. So that's the first. The second is this kind of little woven tray dish guy. Um, at first, I wanted to use it to put our keys and wallets, but it is a little lopsided. I don't know if it's intentional or, you know, again, one of a kind, handmade, whatever. So we'll probably just use this as a shelf decor, but it's a really, really nice piece. And it's very imperfect, which is what I like. Okay, now for my favorite H&M purchase this past time. It is these pillow covers. They are so good. So I already put one on a pillow for you guys to see, but duh, look. Okay, let's, this is kind of hard. All right, here we go. The detailing, the color, the stitching. I don't know if you guys can see the true color, but it's such a pretty woven tan with creams and like a dark grayish green. I just, it is so good. It looks super expensive and it looks very Turkish too. Like these types of pillow covers, um, I would say usually on like Etsy, or other, other sites would run anywhere between 70 to like 100, but these, I think were only 25 or 35, so, and they're large too, so I bought three of these. Originally, I was gonna use them on our bed, but they look really good on the couch that we currently have right now, so that'll be there for now. I haven't even put them on the bed because I love them on the couch so much, but anyways, so yes. So these are the other two that I have not used and opened. All right, that is H&M. Actually, I have a couple more H&M things in the kitchen. There's things in the kitchen that I didn't bring into my office, but we'll go there later. All right, next we have these cute mugs. Look at, just like the shape I think is stunning queen. She's so cute and petite and I love this little round hole. It's actually really easy to drink out of and hold. Um, I bought these at a coffee shop in San Diego with Kimmy. We both bought four and they're just really cute. It was at Communal Coffee. So this was the North Park um, location. They have another one. 
I forget what area, but they were $12 each, which I think is great for kind of like these novelty type mugs. And I've been drinking coffee out of them almost every time that I'm here. All right, now time for this. So I actually DIY'd this and made this myself. I'm gonna, there we go. Isn't she nice? So this was an old blue, just blue vase from Home Goods. I got it for like 19 bucks. And then I um, pretty much, long story boring, just used mortar and dirt and sanded it all down. I did an entire IGTV on how I did this, a whole full tutorial. So I will link that down in the description so you guys can see, super easy project. Um, and it's what's cool about it is it's like super customizable just when you watch the video it'll make sense but you can customize the color by how much dirt you put on you could even spray paint it a little bit or you can just leave it white and nice whatever you want baby girl you got it all right put that down next actually i am going to show you guys on the desk because it's a very large super sick candle and um i just don't want to burn myself and i already lit it so you guys can see it in action all right let's how cool is this guy okay whoops so i got this from amber interiors it is this long beautiful wood piece and then it's just a large candle fill it is really big it is more let's see the entire length of my forearm so it's a really nice piece i got it i think there was like a little sale so that's when i purchased it and then they have some braided detail it's definitely a heavy guy so it's not cheap or anything at all i think i'm gonna burn this only for special occasions because i really really want to keep this around it's just such a gorgeous piece Okay, we're gonna stand and do the rest. So uh, I got also some more to actual like Turkish pillow covers from this company called Rough and Tumbled, I believe, or Rough X Tumbled. Um, she is a small business local and she sent these to me so I did not purchase them, but they are absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to use them on our couch that we have so here is the first one so this is kind of more of a smaller um rectangle and then oh actually here we go Let's see uh, rough and tumbled right rough and tumbled yep so that's the first one then we have another larger one and then you would essentially just zip and then stuff your pillow on the inside. Also, a trick that I learned, I forget if it's on HGTV or what, is when it comes to pillow covers, you actually want to get a pillow that is one size or like a couple inches a little bit bigger. So say if the pillow case is like a 20 by 20, try to get a 22 by 22 because it gives the pillow more puff um and it's just more like fluffy and full if it's sometimes especially if the pillow is a little bit flat if it is the perfect size it just looks a little like wah, wah. so that's a little trick that i learned and i've done that with all of my pillow covers since or pillowcases pillow covers yeah okay on to the next here is another one so i you know just the same very woven textured very neutral and then we have the same kind of pattern as that smaller first rectangle one, but in a larger size. So these are really, really pretty. And they're like heavy. They're really thick. You guys can see the thickness of it here. So really sturdy, nice quality covers. Okay, so these two things right here. If you guys saw on my Instagram story, I posted about how they are a very catfish piece of artwork, wall art from CB2. 
However, um, and I, okay, so let's rewind. I had been looking at them for literally months, like I think probably since the end of 2020. And the only reason why I never bought them is because the ratings and reviews are atrocious, like so bad. Everyone was like, this is the most catfish thing ever, whatever, whatever. you know, angry people. Um, yeah, I could definitely vouch for that. However, they went on sale and I was like, you know what? I still really like it. Let's just give it a shot. Let's see how catfish it is. And um, it's pretty freaking catfish, but hold on. Okay, what really drew me to all of this was the texture. You guys know I'm such a texture person. This is wool. Let's see if I can focus here. So it's wool and it's the colors honestly are just so gorgeous and so stunning. So I'd posted on my stories that I am going to try and attempt a DIY, grab some more wool. Maybe if it's like white, then I'll dye it in some tea and then just glue it and kind of make it a little bit more of a cloud because it's supposed to replicate a Nimbus cloud, I believe. Um, and what I don't like is like these two guys right here. I kind of just wish they made every canvas a little bit different um, but I do want to cover at least one of these so they're not identical spread it out a little bit more but I think after the DIY it'll look really pretty it's not that bad it's just bad if you know what it's supposed to look like um, but if you didn't know what it's supposed to look like I feel like you'd just be like oh okay what else like no big deal okay okay all right lastly is my new desk I'm gonna set this tripod up a little bit better Let's see. All right, I cleaned the space up a little bit so you can get a better view. So I ordered this on also CB2, I think back in December, January, and it was back ordered for seven months, but it finally came. I love the shape. The shape is absolutely gorgeous. It's just such a good solid piece, very sleek, but I love that the legs fan out and the wood is a very very pretty light wood the greening as well i think my girlfriend who has this desk and she was the one who inspired me to buy it she did say that you do have to be careful um maybe don't do makeup on here or things that could maybe stain easily because it is hard to get out however i don't really plan to do like crazy stuff maybe just writing and desk work so that's really i mean i think i'll be fine but it's just a good piece of furniture. And then this is a little drawer. And it's relatively deep too, so nice to just store things. I'm not going to be using this chair. I just kind of put this chair here for spacing purposes and just to use it for now. But yeah, I think look at it against the arched windows in my office. So pretty. Once we get the curtains up, I'm gonna do like white sheer curtains going across and it'll be, I believe, end panel, middle panel, and another end panel. It's gonna look so, so, so good. Okay, now back to these. In terms of what we're gonna do, I don't know if I'm gonna leave them here on the wall or maybe throw them in the dining room. I think once we kind of finish um, DIYing it and figuring out, then I will have a better idea. Next up, we have one of my favorite pieces of the house. They are these really fun chandeliers. So these are like wood sticks. They kind of make some funny noises, but you just put the light bulbs in there and we are going to be putting them in here and replacing these little nipple lamps. I'm so excited. I got these at Anthropology on sale. They were like 25% off, which was such a good deal because they are a little bit pricier, but I feel like the contrast between this and that, ooh, just absolutely gorgeous. All right, final stretch. So now we are in the kitchen. These are the other little guys that I got from H&M. I just thought they were really cute for parfait, sundaes. You can do some berries in here, honestly anything. So I got four of them because I feel like you just always need at least Oh my goodness, excuse me. <laughs> but I feel like you just always need four. 
Then again from CB2, you guys have probably seen these all over Instagram, but they are the little ribbed ripple coupe. So cute for just any type of drink that you want to make. I obviously love this detail. I just love very like dainty, like little dainty pieces. It is very light and almost, it sounds like it can break. So I think you definitely have to be really careful. These were back ordered for a really long time. So I ordered them a few months ago and they just came in. Okay, this one is a funny little guy. So it's a colander and I want to use it for berries and just like small little vegetables, but I thought it was really cute. I just love the coloring. It really reminds me of the mugs that I showed you guys that I got at that coffee shop, but super cute, really small and just really different. A couple of little wood items that I picked up from the Long Beach antique market. Um, this one actually I didn't get from there, but I did see their stand and I just, I didn't know if I wanted anything yet, but I ended up going to one of their warehouse sales and it is this nice kind of antiqued jar. I'm not going to leave this here in the kitchen. I'm going to be putting it on the shelf when our shelves over there eventually get set up. But for now, just kind of like putting it to use. And then I also got this cool little wooden slab. I wanted something rectangular. A lot of the kind of little pedestals are circle and I feel like it was just a lot of weird shapes and it kind of came out a little bit too much. So I like that this was wood. I got this, um, I think the company is called, shoot, through the loophole or something like that. I will tag them, but it's a really, really nice piece of wood reclaimed and yep. Yeah. Last but not least, this stunning, stunning runner. So this is also by um, Rough and Tumbled, same company as those pillow covers, and she sent this as well. It fits absolutely perfectly. I did have a ruggable one, but the color was just a little bit off. I think this complements the space so much more, and the detail of it, Oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous. It's really thick too. Let's see if I can do a close up of it. Okay, so it is pretty thick. And then this is still the ruggable pad that I have under, just hold it in place. And it's a little bit plushy too. And because this is thick, it kind of gives it that double plush. So it is quite comfortable to walk on and stand on. Doesn't hurt or anything. I hope you guys enjoyed this very short and sweet little new home decor haul. Uh, like I said, I will try to link everything that I can down below. Um, if I can't link them, I will at least tag the brand and tag their website so you guys can check them out. But yeah, so for new viewers here, don't forget to subscribe and then add me on Instagram because I also post tons of things on IG as well. Um, and yeah, all right, thanks guys.